we just switch words around and make you all confused and you say, what did, what did he say? I ain't said nothing. It's a language game I'm playing on you, man. So you want to stabilize something. Growth and development is female. Another word for female is alkali. alkali. You still with me? Yeah. yeah. Another word for female is phenotype. Another word for female is nurture. nurture. Nature would be genome. That's right. what's you. Nature is given to you. Right. Your environment, your parents, that influence your color. That's nurture. It's just a matter of you not knowing them switching words to say the same damn thing, man. That's how we roll. I learn from white people. Mm. I know how to confuse the hell out of you. <laughs> you know what I mean? I studied melanin with a German who used to make lamps out of your damn skin. Wow. He taught me melanin. Mm. Mm. Okay. I'm just saying, if you understand I'm just switching words around, you won't have any problem with science whatsoever. I teach science in less than one day. I teach chemistry in less than one day. I teach. Dr. Stevens and I teach how to diagnose chemistry, biology, hypnosis, we teach. This is just to interest you into learning something. That's what the lecture is about, just to feed your appetite. Say, I want to learn this. You want to learn this? I'll teach you. Okay. I'll take the white out of you and hang it in the backyard. <laughs> That's what I meant. <laughs> yes, hello. Okay, I'm going to talk about blood pressure and how blood pressure has to do with melanin. Normal blood pressure is 120 over 80. So if you take your blood pressure and your blood pressure is 120 over 80, you know your melanin is doing what it needs to do, providing you're not on blood pressure medication. Oh, okay. Okay? So if your blood pressure goes above, the systolic is a top number, and that's the action phase of the heart. So if that number is higher, it means the heart is working harder. It means you're having difficulties with the melanin inside of your body. As it has to do with the bottom number, which is the diastolic, which is the resting phase of the heart, mm -hmm. if that diastolic number is low yeah. or high, you know there is something going on with the resting phase of your heart, which has to do with your melanin. So there are a lot of different ways and a lot of different tests that you can do inside the body to tell what your melanin is doing. You can do it with blood pressure, you can do it with urine, you can do it with saliva. It's just if you know how to read it. The top number on your blood pressure, we I show you how to do that in my book called Melanin, how to measure your melanin level and all that. The top number on your blood pressure, which is 120, that represents serotonin. The bottom number, which is 80, the resting phase of the heart, represents melatonin. You follow me? I'm just using another language to say blood pressure. So if that top number is 150 instead of 20, I know that you're having problems with your serotonin. Are you still with me? Yeah. yeah. It's just a matter of switching language. I'm just, I can't say anything different, I can just switch language. That's what Europeans are, they're masters of linguistics. Because they're fascinated with words. They just started talking 30,000 years ago. Before that, they were just running around. <laughs> That's all they were doing. That was it, right, team? Oh, yeah, that was it. And I've been holding you know, African origin of biological psychiatry by Dr. Richard King, he states that um, if you test the blood at 70 nanograms, um, your melanin is functioning properly. So you can also take that into consideration. That's it. I just, that's it. I just, I just, I just really wanted to know about the 12 centers that you mentioned in your in, in the video. That's all. You didn't elaborate on it. Yeah, because I have a drawing of it in my book. I show you where they are in the book on holistic self-diagnosis and in the melanin book. I show you exactly the location of the 12 melanin centers. Because we have more than the Asians. The Asians have about seven. And the Europeans have about four. That's what you said. You see, that's on, that's on your, what we call your brain stem, which is below your Abdullah. Um, I don't want to get into all that chemical talk. I don't want to say that. Anyway, you have a brain stem and they have 12 dots on it. We call them melanin reticular formations. Only black people have 12 dots on that, which Richard King wrote a book called The Black Dot. This, this is long ago. And, and white people have four black dots on their brain stem. You see? Yes. They, they, they never said they were human. They said they were a mankind, a kind of man. They never said that. <laughs> you think they're man human. They, they are species of people. But they're not in the same classification as you are. Just pity them. One day they'll be human. But just pity them. They need therapy. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> uh, 